My name is Rapsing, it's time for a type of episode that I haven't done in a very long period of time. That's an Ascension Zero. Why are we going Ascension Zero? Because it is fire breathing or bust. I am going to build the perfect deck for fire breathing. Now whether or not fire breathing turns up, that's a whole different bag of potatoes. I'm hoping it does. <laughs> Colors card, enemy section come. Uh, none of those really influence me that much. I mean, that's obtain a curse. I do like curses. Add a burn to my discard, but I do like statuses. I've already got two ways to fund it. All right. So I want as many question marks as possible so that I can pick up as many uh, curses as possible. Dang pain. I mean, I could have just ignored that turn, but the burning blood was burn uh, healing us back up afterwards. We have pain, so that rupture is actually pretty good. Pretty good. I'm also going to take the curse of injury here. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. It could uh, crash and burn quite easily, though. Or... It could burn, but in a good way. Come on, fire breathing. Okay. I mean, Sword Boomerang does a ridiculous amount of damage with the, the rupture pain stuff that we got going on, so I kind of have to. 20, 16, and I go for the 16 on the back line because I can do 17 here. Couldn't have drawn Immolate on turn one, eh? I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> That's another rupture right there. <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so good. All right. My goal is just draw those curses const- Oh my god, this fight is going to be hilarious. Perfect. Fire breathing and then double defend. I'm not even going to bother with the emulate. Next hand probably kills. Like that. <laughs> Red Skull, if your HP is out of below 50%, you have three additional health as well as. Nope. And none of those have a status or a curse on them. Also, no. Bloodval, yep, I'm gonna need healing, especially while we're doing something dumb like this. Fire breathing will ultimately deal more damage than immolate. What, with three curses? No, just two curses left in my deck. But, but it allowed me to defend on that turn as well, at least. Okay. So I'm also going to need things that shuffle statuses into my draw pile. None of those do it. Those do exist, though. Ooh, I get to set up all my stuff. Well, I'd hoped I was going to get sell all my stuff. Hmm. Oh well. Make sure to play the Sword Boomerang last so that I get as much strength before playing it as possible. That's lethal. What? I didn't just... Oh! Thought I still had a curse in my deck. And uh, Battle Trance helps us draw into those. Oh my gosh. Yep. Healing is 50% more effective during combat. So we heal nine at the end of a fight and three at the start of it. Oh my god. I actually just want to fight the enemy. Screw it. Let's go. Fire breathing, fire breathing, Rapture. Uh, 
okay. Let's go Gambler's Brew on all of those. Pulls out that injury. I'll Battle Trance and then kill. Getting a Colorless Potion as well as Limit Break. Okay, okay. I see the value that could propose. Let's get a... Not the Rupture Upgraded. Uh, fire Breathing and then the Limit Break. Limit Break is giving us a win condition for bosses as well. If I had enough to buy a Dubu doll, which would be about 300, I'd go to the shop. But because I don't, I go here. I'll take another curse. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I love it so much. Thank you for even more useful cards in my deck. Extremely unfortunately, we've drawn awfully in this fight. Like, real tragically. Yikes. Oh boy. Uh, yikes. It's enlighten. Bash. Sword Boomerang and then Strike. Yeah. Not really how I wanted the fight to go down, but look, if it's got to go down like this, it's got to go down like this. At the very least, we're in a low ascension, so we fully heal after a boss fight. Can we take another Limit Breaker in Immolate? Another room late. I need more AOE. <laughs> Shovel two wounds in your draw pile? Game? <laughs> oh, I love that it's just giving me every single thing that I could have asked for before I even asked for them. The game isn't even waiting for that. Take my five lumps. Fire breathing and then put the frontliner on the ground. Save myself 12. No, I shouldn't have played that fire breathing. It's not necessary. Flame barrier. No. Ah, uh, but I should put defense in this deck, ideally. Yeah, I need some way to defend myself. Doesn't matter if I strike or not right there, right? Oh, no, it does. Pendib, never mind. Bad move on my part as a result. A lot more damage than the Shell Parasite necessarily had to deal to me if we had uh, a little bit of a better draw order there. Wild Strike puts a strike, uh, a wound into my draw pile. I go to the shop because we have so much money. Status. I, I'm actually very tempted to take the Lizard Tail when you would die healed to 50% of your max HP works once. Just because this build is vaguely suicidal. Currently, I don't have anything the Clockwork Souvenir acts on, but Clockwork Souvenir is Clockwork Souvenir, and Clockwork Souvenir can be really good. Oh! My! Yeah. Start of each combat with, uh, start each combat with three strength. At the end of your first turn, lose three strength. This artifact prevents the loss of that three strength. Uh, this is the... I can't even talk. 
That's how. That's how. Wow. You know? <laughs> I'm simply floored by this. Okay. No limit break. Wild strike and then battle trance just to try and draw one of the. Damn. One of those for the kill. Whenever you draw a status card, draw two cards. It's already pre-upgraded. Someone's looking out for me. <laughs> Someone somewhere. I'm not much of a theist myself, but... If anything was going to challenge me on that, it'd be this. Fire breathing, evolve, flame barrier, pop that defense. Thank you for the wound. Fire breathing, wild strike, battle trance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Preserved insects. Enemies in elite combats have 25% less HP. Next floor, that's pretty important. They have large, large amounts of HP. This build doesn't really scale well, right? Hmm. I like Preserved Insect, but I do want to try and take this to the heart because I think that'd be funny even if I end up dying at the heart, and I suspect strongly I do. Unfortunately, the debuff we negated there was the no draw from Battle Trance. Wasn't really thinking about it at the time, unfortunately. I don't think I ha Yeah, I have one status in my deck. Yeah, I don't really care about playing the Evolve then. Definitely shouldn't have cared about it. Good. We now need things that give us uh, defense. Ideally. Hmm. I'm just going to use that to kill the Pack Ramlin. But yeah, we're going to want things to give us defense as well as play into this build. Most obvious thing would be, like, par through. Do I not play fire breathing? Oh, wow, I didn't play the fire breathing when it turns up. That surprises me. I would have thought I would have done that. Alright. That's not really where I wanted that to go. But okay. Good. Penib up to one short. Entrench Sever Soul Whirlwind. I'll take the whirlwind just because especially starting with strength in a in a fight already. It's really good. I'm gonna have rupture upgraded as well so that I can always play it. I don't wanna have to spend energy on it. Don't wanna have to debate whether or not I can afford to. Alright, game. Time to give me. Boom. That. That'll do. Burning Pact. Exhaust the card and draws two. Yeah, I do want to burn the curses that are already in my hand, and I do want to draw more cards. Burning Pact's kind of perfect.
Ouch. That turn sucked. And I got weakened. So, like, double immolate isn't really an out for us anymore. This will be, though. If I could have counted. All right, I'm I'm clearly too excited by this build, and I'm starting to make some bad decisions. Let's let's pair it back from there. Let's rest here. Play a little bit safer so that I don't lose the build that I am losing my mind over. Also, I will say, having Pocket Watch, incredible. Because if a hand of mine gets destroyed because I just draw, you know, curses and statuses and eh, it's awful, then Pocket Watch means I have a good next hand at least. Hey. Fire breathing, I'll defend. Burning packs that bash, cause garbage. Wild strike. And here we'll make it through. Three. I'm also not gonna play the battle trance, I want the extra draw next turn. Got him. I don't think I need another immolate. Yeah, it provides AoE damage, but I already have, you know, Whirlwind, two Immolates, and two Fire Breathings doing that for me. Pass. You can no longer obtain potions, but Boston Crown is fine as well, because I don't really need more cards in this deck. I'd rather have the ability to get potions, especially considering I have the Clockwork Souvenir, and the Clockwork Souvenir gives us one artifact, so if I use a potion like... A uh, flex potion, which gives you five strength and then takes five strength away at the end of the turn. I can negate that effect with the Clockwork Souvenir, or I can negate the effect of a speed potion. Same with Dex. Um, well, not negate the effect of, but negate the negative effect of, rather. <sighs> really? It feels like, uh, like I, I can't complain about draw because I'm intentionally screwing my deck. So no, I cut myself off there. No complaining allowed. This is a complaint free zone. Thank you. Good old sword boomerang coming in clutch. I'll take a shrug it off because defense is now necessary. Especially now necessary. Obtain a special relic and another curse of pain. The curse of pain being very, very good for my rupture. Evolve shrug. Mm, limit sword boomerang and wild strike. Having six at the start of this, not half bad. Mm -mm. Thank you for the body slam. I barely ever defend if I can avoid it. And I'll tell you what, I clearly can avoid it. Okay, so I'm reading Burning Pact on Regret. Evolve Bash. Bash. 
Not really what I wanted for the turn, but uh, if it's what we get, it's what we get. Emulate Strike Whirlwinds. Still haven't got a Rupture out, so that turn could have been a lot better. Okay. Rupture. Fire Breathing. Flame Barrier. Defense. And then a Limit Break. All the way up to 12. If I had a Reaper in this deck, oh my gosh, if I had a Reaper in this deck. Oh, he's so nice. Please take turn one off. Right. Clearly not going to happen like that. Let's throw one fire potion to save myself some HP here. I have a lot of fire potions. I'm not exactly going to be left wanting, I don't believe. Whoops. I was trying to queue that up so I'd have the pen nib in the next fight, but clearly did that extremely poorly. I'm going to recall here because I intend on resting after this elite. Strike, strike. Playing three attacks in a single turn is a little bit better than playing, you know, smaller, uh, fewer attacks that aren't as powerful. Or that are more powerful because of the shuriken. No reason not to throw that. Strike. Limit break and then sword boomerang. Thank heck we had enough to kill. Boss, no, thank you. Eternal feather for every five cards in your deck. Heal three whenever you enter a rest site. Be glad to see it. Upgrade all cards, you can no longer heal, so that kills us. Instantaneously. Heal to full with just a curse of doubt. No, we go for the boss fight, obviously, here. No two ways around that one. One, two, three. That also gets us to the pen nib as well as uh, increments. Sorry, increments the pen nib to nine and uh, triggers a shuriken. Fire breathing, giant strike, smaller strike, and then limit break at the very end there. I don't need to put myself in any extra jeopardy. This fight's already over. Peace pipe, you can now remove cards from your deck at rest sides. I'm not gonna. Not even gonna take another Super Boomerang. <laughs> Incredible. Just incredible. Uh, Lee's Waffle? No, I have a shop next floor as well. Lee's Waffle isn't that incredible. It's just seven max HP here for us, basically. Now there's a limit break left in the deck. Hopefully, this is far at the bottom as it can be. I'll I'll have time to get back to that Reaper. Do not worry. And at the time, it will be effective. I could get a Strength, but then I... Yeah, I'll burn it. Just for a point of Strength. Especially because I know the Limp Rate's still in there. In the brick the same hand. Just limit break to start with. 
and then I could try and bash Sword Boomerang Strike. No, I don't want to do anything like that. I'm going to Apotheosis, defend, defend. Oh, win for the increments. I'm still looking for the Reaper. There it is. So now I want to play as many cards as possible before Reaper. Take that 41 HP and it even gets increased by the Magic Flower. Perfect. Old coin. The Pumping Cup gained 300 gold as well as a Sever... Yeah, eventually I need to start burning those out in a uh, in a heart fight. Because dead draws in the heart fight will absolutely trash me. Not what I was looking for there. Ideally would have picked up a status or... Oh no wait, I didn't have a fire breathing out. Never mind. Wouldn't have mattered. I mean, emulate's useful here. Fire breathing. We'll battle trance to see if that helps. I'm actually gonna. Reaper and then just strike the frontliner. Sets me up with a pen nib and likely ends up killing these. Yeah. As well as heals us, ridiculously, though. Obviously, the apotheosis needs an upgrade. Oh, the shop next floor is going to be real good. Start with Burning Pact on Strike. Oops, sure. It's Battle Trance for Evolve. Then Limit Break and Double Defend. Yeah. I don't need to get aggressive yet. This turn, though. So I've only got two cards I get to play next turn. Let's go Apotheosis and Defend. Not super ideal. Thankfully, I know that I bring myself back to life. Worst case scenario. So now the Time Eater is going to take the next turn off. I didn't want it to make me vulnerable and then hit me. So we'll take this turn off. Thank you. Little trance into Limit Break. Strike, then Reaper. Seriously, like, the Reaper is so, so pivotal and fundamental to this build. It's incredible that every single thing I would have needed just shows up. All right, uh... That'll do it. Also leaves me with a pen nib. So we managed to make a fire breathing build. It wasn't you know, hard, but I got to show off the new card and things got real lucky. Lane barrier makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. 
Especially because I might not get Apotheosis and then I will have the Flame Barrier possibly on the right turn for the multi-attack. Whenever you play a power attack and skill in the same turn, remove all your debuffs. As well as start boss combat heal for 25 HP. Uh, Centennial Puzzle is incredible. Honestly, so is Evolve. Just going to take all of those. And I will shrug it off as well. Hmm. Well, Immolate has to go out. There's no two ways around that one, right? 62 damage to both of them is pretty significant. Now, I played an attack, a skill, and a debuff in that same turn. So I managed to purge the debuff of mutagenic strength myself using the orange pellets, which meant that the spire shield hitting me to try and remove one strength wasn't capable. Thankfully, because I got the Pantograph, I don't have to rely on ending this fight with a Reaper or anything like that. Which was a pretty dire concern of mine earlier. Okay, so 42 HP on that backliner. Sweet. Okay. Rupture. Wild Strike. Break. Well, went. Get to heal to full in the next fight. Duplication Potion. Your next card is played twice. I might do that on Rupture. Cultist Ritual and the Strength Potion will do both of those at the start here. Actually, that's... So that's uh, five different statuses that get put into my draw pile. If I double play the Evolve, I will... Hopefully be able to guard against ever having a turn where I just can't do anything. Hopefully. So the fact that I managed to purge the negativity of the mutagenic strength allowed me to save the artifact for the first debuff that the Corrupt Heart applied, which was a vulnerability. That actually turned out extremely well for us. I'm gonna purge even more debuffs off, uh, debuffs off myself. Excellent. Other than losing Battle Trance here, I'm kind of fine burning. But I really don't want to lose Battle Trance here if I can avoid it. Or Burning Pact, frankly. And then Battle Trance gives us Pothiosis. Alright. I'll win for the increment, but... Yikes. Least Limit Break's still in the deck. Unfortunately, yeah, it goes only in that cycle. Let's go... Limit Break and then... Whirlwind... So now I have... The enemy has less than 300 HP, so I do have the ability to just straight up kill them in this turn. Got double damage on one of my attacks, and... I'm worried. I'm going to start with the Sever Soul. No, I can't start with Sever Soul. I need to use Burning Pack to draw more cards here. 
Because that's 48 damage incoming, so I'm dead unless I kill this turn. It's fine. If I have to die, then so be it. Because I have the... <laughs> because I have the lizard's tail. In fact, I'll just, you know, heal myself up here at the very end with another reaper. Thank you very much. That was a showcase of fire breathing. Admittedly, not entirely difficult. But also, how could it be when the game gave me everything I needed? in the order that I needed them, when I needed them. Good gosh. For the moment, my name is Rune Rhapsody. Thank you, Slay the Spire, for making it such a comfortable and lovely return. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.